Some of the best diagnostic tests for fuel pumps are voltage drops and current testing. Fuel pressure and volume are influenced by voltage, current, and the demand controlled by the regulator. If a fuel pump is not receiving the correct voltage, it cannot spin fast enough. Voltage drop testing can isolate problems that can still remain even if the pump is replaced. Voltage drop testing compares the battery or charging voltage to the voltage of the component. The voltage drop occurs because of resistance in the circuit that supplies the pump. The resistance could be in the connectors, grounds, or harness. A resistor or insulator prevents the flow of electricity in a circuit. Resistance can be caused by corrosion, fretting, and even air. If you were to put a 1.0 ohm resistor in a fuel pump circuit, it would lower the 13.25 volts prior to 9.78 volts. This is a voltage drop of almost 4 volts. The loss of 4 volts may not affect the idle of a vehicle as the fuel pressure may be within specifications, but when more volume is required, as when the vehicle is under acceleration, it could be starved for fuel. It doesn't take much to introduce 0.5 ohms or more of resistance into an automotive electrical circuit. This could be caused by a corroded ground, a connector that is no longer sealed, or even a connection that's weak due to poor retention. If you were to put a resistor in a circuit, it would get hot. The same is true for components like connectors, wires, or even the pump. This heat can result in melted connectors and seized parts. When the harness is first disconnected, look for any discolored plastic or a blue tint to the connector. If you see a melted connector, it's a sign there's a resistance that should not be present or a bad connection. One of the most common reasons for a connector to go bad is the retention clips. If a connector does not have good retention and a tight connection, it can lead to heat problems. Corrosion on terminals has been an issue recently due to the location of the connector on the tank. On many vehicles, the fuel pump connector is located on top of the tank where road de-icing brines can accumulate. These chemicals can be vicious, attacking and wicking into the connectors and wires. This can cause increased resistance and voltage drops. Some fuel pump manufacturers include a new harness and connectors with certain pump applications. It's highly recommended that you replace the connector and weatherproof the connection. 